his whole image on the show was that he loved his wife. He was a wholesome married man. So I was like, oh, I fucking get it. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Holy shit. Not that like it wasn't fucked up to begin with. It was just it made sense that he was fired for cheating. So, yeah, it was it was it was so fucking messy. Holy shit. Uh, Ned managed to get booted out of the Triguys with just the universe writing himself. There can only be one Ned with the initial F in his surname. <laughs> That's Ned Flanders. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I don't know. Like, I, I never grew up with tiger parents, but I feel like if I had a tiger mom and I did something to disappoint her, like I didn't get an A on the test or some shit like that, she'd look at me like this. Okay. <laughs> Like fucking Eugene's face is just so fucking great. Like, oh my God. Like him just sitting there, I think for like five fucking minutes. Like you can tell he is fucking disappointed with fucking Ned. And you know, he might kill Ned after this. I don't fucking know, but that's a fucking, that's a scary ass face, okay? You don't want to disappoint Eugene ever. Cause that's the face you're going to get with him and his nice little boots and his little like V-neck right there. <laughs> I just couldn't. I, I I was just so distracted during the apology video because the way that Eugene was just sitting there was just like, oh my god, like so much sass. I fucking loved it. Eugene is dressed to kill. He is. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I feel like this is what we need. Oh wait, actually, no, 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 no. We need. Uh, I feel like we need the hand. Uh, oh, it's the hand. Oh yeah, it's the. <laughs> I feel like we need the hand. <laughs> Oh God, it's so good. All right, there you go. I'm sorry, I don't know who, the guy in the middle, I'm cutting him out a little bit, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, this really sets the appropriate tone. Yes, Eugene is looking so fabulous. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. By now, we're assuming you've seen the Reddit threads and TikToks. You see that little shift that Eugene did? Like that shift of like, un like it was like, like, like he was just like, I don't know, man. Like it just seemed like he was just like uncomfortable. And he was just like, oh, Ned, like just hearing the name Ned, just like makes him like angry or something. <laughs> like he's just beaming. I'm gonna be reading a lot into this, okay? Here, let's just watch the little shift that he does. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. By now, we're assuming what's transpired and some transparency into our decision making. Throughout this video, there will be things that- Like all up his fist right there. Like he looks so fucking disappointed, okay? We wanna say or go into further, but as I'm sure you're aware, there are some legal issues we have to consider as we go through everything. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. Wait, that was, oh, that was like a month ago, Labor Day weekend. Oh my God, look at Eugene. <laughs> His face went from like disappointed to disappointed as fuck, okay? It just got even more like, oh God, it's so, it's so scary. I'm so scared. We reached out to check on that employee. Uh, Ned confirmed the reports and since confirmed that this had been going on for some time, which was obviously very shocking to us. And we just want you to know that we had no idea that was going on. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Ned should have done the Amber Heard and just denied till you die? <laughs> Cause the Amber Heard would have been like, so what you have video footage? That's not me. Was that the jacket that I was wearing to the club? That's not me. I think um was really stupid about this. Cause apparently, um, they were caught at a concert and this is the same concert that the Ned guy had taken pictures with fans like earlier in the night. So he knew he was surrounded by fans. Like, why the fuck would you do this? This is so fucking disrespectful. Jesus fucking Christ. Like you wanted to get caught. Uh, all of that information was just as shocking. <laughs> Eugene, he's dead to me. <laughs> oh my God. Love it. To us as all of this has been for this, you. This, 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 this needs to be my Halloween costume. I, I need to wear this for Halloween this year. Holy shit. This is a Halloween costume right here. <laughs> and thus began a three week process of engaging with employment lawyers, corporate lawyers, HR, PR, and more in order to make sure we were taking all necessary steps. From the jump, we were acutely aware of just how contrary this was to the values of the company we've built and those of everyone who works here. This. Damn, he is seething is something we took very seriously. Ooh, that pause right there too. That was a powerful pause. This That's some steam out. is something we took very seriously. We refused to sweep things under the rug. That is not who we are and it's not what we stand for. Wow. We immediately removed Ned. Oh my God, he, oh my God. He's like, oh my God. It's like, you see the eye shift right there? Like, whew, I'm scared, I'm scared. We also opted to remove Ned from our releases pending the re results of that review. Now, did they move the, 
did they move the girl remove the girl by any chance because someone mentioned that they still had her in like the credits or something is she still with the company because i don't think they ever addressed that right and choosing not to feature him in our merch throws honestly i want to give uh, major props to our editing staff for how deftly they've handled that there are several videos that we've deemed as fully unreleasable you will never see them and that is due to his involvement wow and that's a decision that has cost us lots of money wow um, we will not be able to recoup that money but it's a decision we stand by proudly damn everyone everyone fucking if you guys are like a fan of the try guys all y'all are hating fucking ned right now <laughs> everyone's like fuck ned i don't know who ned is but i'm like holy shit fuck ned now we can't talk about the details of the review but suffice to say we found that ned had engaged in contact we, well, conduct unbecoming of our team. Members of Second Try LLC approving the removal of Ned. Yeah, and I think um, I think the Ned guy, I feel like they just had the twins. I feel like um, he has like two kids with his wife and they look very young. And while we consider this a company matter, I'm, there's just also a family at the center of this. Now, we were always planning on a public statement. And we're working towards that with our team, but in light of rapidly accelerating speculation, we knew we couldn't wait any longer. Mm. We were obviously incredibly shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we'd built a brand and a company with for eight years. We feel, we feel saddened. Yeah, he's so fucking pissed. Holy shit. Not just personally, but on behalf of our staff and our fans who believed in us. I wonder if, um, do you think they can ever be friends again? Do you think like after time has passed, you know, things are a little bit quieter now. Do you think they can ever be friends with him? It seems like they're really close with each other. I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully articulate the pain we feel at this moment. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and are proud of. We're losing a friend. We're losing someone we, we built the company with. We have countless memories with. We, we just made a TV show together. It's, I'm sure many of you- Wait, they made a TV show together? Is it already out and released or is it gonna be scrapped now? You feel the same way, it's- <laughs> Eugene, hold on a second. <laughs> I need to do a slow-mo of Eugene's face. <laughs> I love that eye roll that he did. We just made a TV show together. It's... I'm sure many of you feel the same Eugene. way. It's weird. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, I'm loving Eugene way too much. All right, let me watch this. <clears throat> We're sorry that this ever happened and we, we don't know what more to say. And there's also our staff of 20 Strong who they just don't deserve the negative attention our brand is now getting because they didn't do anything. But they're our family and they're some of the most talented, creative minds in the world and our- And you know what also sucks too because um, his wife was also, um, like she would make like guest appearances on the show. I don't know how often she did, but I saw there were some like, you know, segments that she joined in. It's like, he's not going to be in it. Does that mean that she's also not going to be in it as well? Because like, let's say if they try to fix their relationship, are they just going to completely just, you know, like, is she going to completely just like cut out, like not even be on the Try Guys at all for, for anything? Like, I don't know. I feel like this really fucks her over. Ugh. Because I, I think that they're trying to work things out, um, the wife and him. Our primary focus right now is making sure they feel comfortable and proud coming to work. The work they do never ceases to astound us. And, and frankly, there's just no world in which we could have navigated all of this without them. Uh, apparently, the relationship has been going on for almost a year. Yeah, see, that's the thing that just like doesn't make sense to me because um, I heard that too. I don't know if that's actually true, or if it's confirmed or anything like that. But um, people were speculating that it's been going on for a full year. I don't know if that Ned guy ever came out and said that it was going on for that long. but. I heard that she was engaged to someone else. And of course, obviously, the Ned person is married. He's got kids. Like, what are you doing? Like, the fuck? I, I don't get it. You know, if you. I think it's OK if you're with someone and you don't love them anymore. But to go about that, like, you know, then, you know, you fucking just get a divorce, right? It's going to really suck. It's going to suck for your wife. It's going to suck for your kids. But just fucking get a divorce, you know, because like when you're doing the whole cheating thing, you get caught. That shit's like really fucking messy. I don't know. Just just fucking get a fucking divorce. Be a fucking, you know, not to be like toxic masculinity, but be a fucking man and just get a fucking divorce. Jesus fucking Christ. Look, I get that when stuff like this happens, there's going to be speculation and gossip. And we ask that you respect the privacy of the family members and employees who may be caught up in this. We also want to remind you that the internet has a tendency to be a lot harsher towards women than men. 
So please, we ask that you exercise kindness. That's it for now. Again, more to come. Some things may change, but we are just sort of figuring it out all one day at a time. But yeah, so that's like, that's the apology video right there. Now, you know how the internet is. The internet's gonna do a lot of uh, snooping, you know? There's gonna be a lot of uh, online investigators. And so people speculated that this relationship was going on for a year. And like I said, I don't know if, if he ever confessed to that. I don't know if she ever did or if there's ever any evidence or anything like that. But I just wanted to go over some of the stuff because I just thought it was just the way they were caught. It was just so, just so stupid. I don't know. It just looked so dumb. Like, how old are these people? I'm going to look it up. Does anyone know? How old is Ned? I'm going to lose it. Is he going is he, is he to be like in his 30s, right? He's 35 years old! Ah! You should definitely know better by then. Let me tell you something. If you guys mess up in your like teens, when you're a kid, 20s, maybe even mid 20s, you know, it's fine. You're still navigating through life. You're going to make mistakes and shit. But like when you're fucking 35 years old and you're making a stupid ass mistake, like cheating on your fucking wife when you have kids and stuff like, I don't know. That's just like, you're just dumb. You're just really fucking dumb. Maybe he feel in love. Here's the thing. Like I said, it, it's, it's okay to be out of love with someone that you've been in a relationship. Okay. That's fine. You know, people change. Your emotions change. Sometimes you like someone else. But here's the thing. Get a fucking divorce. End the fucking relationship. And then move on to the next one. <laughs> and it's like a scandal. Like when your kids grow up, they're going to hear about it. You're internet famous. Like, I don't know, man. I should show up. I nasty. You know? And if you're the type of person who... Who can't help themselves and get in a fucking open relationship. I don't fucking know. You know? It's just really fucked up to just lie to someone like that. Oh, uh, Alexander's an associate. Her LinkedIn page shows she started working for a current company as a production manager. Has been there for four years. Uh, before she joined Try Guys uh, at BuzzFeed. Alexandra has never said how old she is, but according to her LinkedIn page, she finished school in 2014. Okay, when it says she finished school, what is that? College? So she's between 22 and 24 at the time, which is the average age of the college graduate. She should be 30. Okay, so let's say she's in her 30s. Yeah, you're old enough to know better. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But here was the... So how this all kind of came to light was the net... The Ned Fulmer guy, the married dude, he goes to a concert, takes pictures with fans, okay? And then he was there with that girl and they were making out, even though there was fans around them. And one of the fans had taken a video or maybe like a picture of them. Let me see if you can find that. And sent it to the girl's fiance. Um, I think, I don't know if they were fiance at the time, or maybe they've broken up. I'm not really quite sure about that. You guys can you guys can correct me on that. Oh, by the way, it was like a Reddit user. A Reddit user claims they caught Ned doing something bad, but when another user asked for proof, this is what they sent. So people were speculating that this Reddit user may have been the ex-fiance of the, the woman. So it says, Hi, I was wondering blank was in New York City. Because if so, I think there's someone you should something you should know, unfortunately. And assuming it's him, he writes, yeah, she was. Why? Question mark. So basically, I went out to Niagara, the club last night and saw her making out with Ned from the Try Guys. I have videos if needed. By the way, if you guys ever accuse of someone of cheating and you're telling your close friends, your buddy, anyone, always have fucking proof because that person is going to turn on you. If you find out that your best friend's husband is cheating on them and you ain't got proof, and the husband is able to wiggle his way out of it and lie to his wife, you're going to be the one that gets caught in the fire and you're, you're going to get flamed. So always have fucking proof if you can. So basically I went to Niagara. Uh, oh, sorry to read that. She was re she was wearing a red dress. I don't know if that helps. Please send them to me. Thanks. On it. One second. I don't have um, I think the video plays, but it's just a screenshot. So that's her right there in a dress. And that's him making out. Now, we can't really see anything here, but, I, you know, probably the video is a lot more clear. But the fact that they were doing this, like, in public, just so fucking brazen and, like, Jesus fucking Christ, how stupid do you guys have to be? And you're, you're like, celebrities. People know you on YouTube. Um, if you slow it down, you can see she's in the red. Oh, man. To be the person that got this message, like, it must be gut-wrenching to just see a footage of, like, your significant other cheating on her fucking co-worker, a famous co-worker at that, too. He writes, thanks. When was this? Last night? 
No worries. My apologies. I'm so sorry. Yes, last night. What time? Around 1 to 3 a.m. Where was this? Niagara by NYU. Okay, thank you. And then they sent a screenshot of where Niagara was. Did you see them? Did you see anything else? Was it just them two? Just them two, nobody else. They weren't even trying to be private. The entire time they were making out. He was touching her too, all that stuff. Like, I don't I don't get it. <laughs> How could you be this dumb? Okay, thanks. Just spoke to Ariel for an hour. Uh, Ariel is uh, Ned Fulmer's uh, wife. Cool, I DM'd her as well. Hope you both have a great night. If I see anything else, I'll let you know. Oof. But yeah, I think that's all that we get from here. Um, what else do we have? Let's see. Six fans sent us this Instagram photo. Both Ned and Alex were in Vegas during the filming of Keith Eat the Menu episode, but they did not appear in the video. Some fans speculate the section of the buffet was left out. Oh yeah, so that's him right there. And that that is her right there. Ned Fomer is no longer working with the Try Guys as a result of a thorough internal interview or review. We do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. Uh, this is what Ned Fomer writes, the cheater. Family should have always been my priority but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. Um, he must have had his lawyer write this because he wrote consensual workplace relationship. Because um, I think because there's probably, people are going to speculate that, um, you know, Ned had like, you know, there was like a power dynamic because she was like his, like, I don't know, I guess like she worked underneath him and this could look really bad. So that's why he put like the consensual there. Like this was definitely like written by the lawyer. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused for the guys and the fans, and most of all, to Ariel, his wife. The only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that's where I'm going to focus my attention. Yeah, it's so sad because I think his kids are so young and like... Oh, this is a statement by his wife. Thanks to everyone who has reached out to me. It means a lot. Nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family. And we all, and all we request right now is that you respect our, uh, and all we request right now is that you respect our privacy for the sake of our kids. Yeah, I don't know, it's tough. It's one of those things where it's like, you can't just like, I'm gonna end the relationship with you because, you know, you wanna have like a broken family, right? Yeah, that's why they had to get legal team involved. They had to do an investigation, HR and all that. Because she can easily turn this around and be like, well, you know, uh, my boss kept hitting on me and I had, you know, I had no choice but to say yes because I didn't want to lose my job, right? Like she could easily just turn that against him. They can't fire for legal reasons. Yeah, I wonder if it gets really messy how they're like, they won't be able to fire her. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just want to show you this part too. <laughs> Is HR. HR. <laughs> oh, yeah, my HR, sorry. PR, it can be a big win. There's also a lot of clips in general of Ned just being too close to Alex, especially in hindsight, where he just kind of lays on her and stuff. Yeah, I feel like people are just watching all the Try Guy episodes right now, like just really looking into it to see how close they really were. It all by myself. It's not the same without her. Oh. oh, feels weird. I'm gonna put my wedding ring right next to this super cute picture of us. That's right next to this other super cute picture of us. I really don't like being alone. It was harder to deal with this experience being single because I didn't have the support of a partner. I think we'll see if there's someone that looks like we're talking. <laughs> there's so many TikToks that it's on right now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you can totally see them right here. Alex, and you look at a photo that he took with viewers on the same day at a Harry Styles concert. He's wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I wish I, I didn't even see the picture. Oh my God. Due to the trauma we are facing, our editors are working around the clock to remove any trace of Ned from past Try Guys content. This is the battle of our lives. Look at me. This is Okay, yeah, I don't know. It's just because it's, it was his brand. Like I said, it was if he was on a YouTube channel, the Try Guys, and his wife wasn't involved, it wasn't with a coworker. Like if it was just like him cheating with this like random ass girl, then I would be like, yeah, okay, why are they firing him? Like, what's his bu What's their business that he's cheating on his wife, right? But it's completely different. Their entire lives, they're all entwined. The coworker, the wife, and shit. She was on the fucking show, so yes. This kid does such a good job embodying what it seems to complete outsiders. But they should have done the research. Yeah, because like for me, um. When I saw that someone got fired because of cheating, I was like, this is really fucking weird. But I was nosy and I wanted to know more. So like once you start digging into it, you're like, oh, like it fucking makes sense.